Today we will look at the line weaver Berg plot, which is central in enzyme kinetics. A typical curve of enzyme kinetics plots the velocity or rate of reaction on the y-axis and the substrate concentration on the x-axis. The rate of reaction increases with the substrate concentration, but the growth is logarithmic, meaning that it starts plateauing like this after a while. The maximum velocity of the reaction or Vmax is therefore only theoretical, since the reaction never truly reaches the final plateau. Therefore we get an error in both the Vmax as well as the Km value. To solve this we can use a line weaver Berg plot, but do not worry about this plot quite yet. First recall the Michaels Menten equation V equals V max times S divided by Km plus S where V is the rate of the reaction, V max is the theoretical maximum possible rate of the reaction, S is the concentration of substrate and Km is the Michaelis constant. If this equation is inversed we get 1 over V equals Km plus S over V max times S. This can be further modified so that we instead get 1 over V equals Km over Vmax times S plus 1 over Vmax. Now let's compare this new equation to the general equation of a straight line, which is Y equals Mx plus C, where M is the gradient or steepness of the line and C is the Y intercept. We can match the components of the new equation to those of the general equation of a straight line. In other words, 1 over V will be the Y part, Km over Vmax will be the M part, 1 over S will be the X part, and 1 over Vmax will be the C part. So now we can take another look at the line with a Berg plot with this in mind. Take a quick moment and pause the video to see if you can fill in these components in the proper places. Okay, let's look at it together. So 1 over V is now going to be the y-axis, Km over Vmax is going to be the gradient of the slope, 1 over S is the x-axis, and 1 over Vmax is the y-intercept. Finally, minus 1 over Km is going to be the x-intercept. In this way, the estimate of Vmax becomes easy, since we can just look at where the y-intercept occurs to get the value for 1 over Vmax. Furthermore, any change in the value of Vmax or Km can easily be spotted from the graph. As a result, this graph is one of the most useful ones for understanding enzyme inhibition. If you want to understand the line weaver berg plot as it relates to enzyme inhibition, check out this video. Until next time.